A nonprofit helping Afghanistan veterans and health care workers. KNBC Nine's Rob Hughes reports on the battle within and what you can do to help. It was a real struggle for me pretty much right from the beginning. Adam Majors is a combat veteran who battled post-traumatic stress. I spent the first year drinking way, way more than I should. And about one year after I got home, I had a complete and total breakdown. Started having panic attacks every day and uh, found it really difficult to even leave my house. Adam serves as a psychotherapist with the Battle Within's Frontline Therapy Network. I love it. I wish everybody did it. I, I, I can't begin to... Um, to explain what a difference it can make in someone's life. Adam leads a therapy group for Afghanistan veterans. They're just heartbroken and uh, infuriated by what they've seen uh, unfolding there and also really confused and trying to sort out what this means for them going forward, trying to figure out what their service meant, what their sacrifices meant. Adam also serves health care workers battling COVID-19. They might also be wrestling with a health um, uh, issue of their own on top of it or struggles in their marriage or with their family. Um, or, or with their friends, especially around the denial of uh, participating in behaviors that help us address COVID. The best way you can help these warriors is listen. Allow them to express how they're feeling. Don't try to talk them out of it. Don't try to um, encourage them to feel differently. Just let them be wherever they're at. Rob Hughes, KBC 9 News. The group also offers a free five-day program called the Reverent Journey. It is a way to heal from traumatic injuries while learning new skills. To sign up or to donate, visit thebattlewithin.org.